All right, here's my review of Disenchantment Season 1. Uh, I'm very late um, to not just the show, but just reviewing this season. Um, because, well, I just... No one, I didn't see the show till after it already came out. People already talked about it. But also, I'm already like halfway through, more than halfway through Season like 2. I'm at like Episode 6 of season two and there's like 10 episodes so you know i've seen a fair bit of season two but i'm just gonna talk about season one and uh season one is the weakest season so far i would say because season one had the problem of well the pacing was really bad so the first episode was like an hour long didn't need to be that episode was horrible uh for how long it went on honestly and it did a decent job of showing us stuff, but it also didn't focus enough on some of the side characters. Like, you kind of see the queen uh, that King Gristle is married to, and you don't really see much of her in season one. Um, and and her son. You really don't see much of them. And uh, it was kind of irritating to have these characters have so little in this uh, season. Uh, Lucy and Elfo, even just for main characters, they really didn't have that much development. Bean had a lot of development. And Bean is a horrible character. And I think that's why in season two they focused on her less. I will, t- I will talk about that more when I review the season. But she, she like, kills multiple people in the show and is okay with it. Like, there's some times where she's kind of like, eh, but like, it's like... But she still kills him, and it, it's weird. And she's a drinker. She's always drinking and stuff. I, but I think by season two, she's kind of gotten better. But, it, you know, can you really get better from, like, killing people? I mean, I don't know. And season one is just a lot more, like, typical Matt groaning stuff. So it's all of his sense of humor is, like, kind of mixed together into this show. And it's kind of boring. Because it's all jokes you've seen before in The Simpsons and Futurama. Even as someone who's not seen those shows that much. I've seen episodes, but like, yeah. It's very long and irritating. for the Because of how lazy um, some of the humor is. But what is really excellent is the last few episodes of season one. Because they introduce a story side to Disenchantment. So, the last two episodes are very drama-filled, and there's almost no jokes. And it's phenomenal. It, it's really captivating and interesting. This could be Matt Groening's best show. If, they, if they've solely made it a story show. But unfortunately, they didn't. I mean, even in season two, they kind of go back to, like, non-story episodes. Even though it, it still has a story in there. But... It's very slow paced and a lot of the pacing is very, very aggravating. A lot of the season is just all right. You know, there's some good episodes. I hated the episode with the giant. I think that episode is so uncomfortable. It's just like, why did the creators think this was funny? It, I, I don't know. If you find it funny, that's fine. That's, that's less of an objective statement. The rest of this is objective. That, that was just kind of a subjective thing. I just didn't get into that episode. But, I think this, um, and obviously that episode was made to make me feel uncomfortable, but still. Um, but, uh, yeah, I I don't know. This show just, this show's alright, okay? I'm not gonna act like it's amazing. I I really am a, I'm a big fan of this show, actually. I really like this show. But I'm not gonna sit here and go, yeah, this show, best, like, it's awesome, really great show. No. It's not. It's not that great. But I love the show a lot personally because I think I think it has a lot of potential and it seems to be getting better with season two. By season three, if it's not better, I'm probably going to drop the show. Uh, I might continue to watch it the whole way through. I can't see this being like a Simpsons or Futurama where it goes on for seasons and seasons. I know Futurama was canceled many times and brought back, stuff like that. But I'm just saying, I can't see this being that because... It's on Netflix. Netflix is canceling a lot of animated shows. Also, this one just... 
isn't going to be as popular as those. It's just not as good. And, um, yeah, I like the show, but it's got its issues. And I think it could get better. I think it really could. We will see uh, what happens. Uh, season 2 is really good so far, but I will review that when I finish the whole season. And I'll probably finish it, review it late because that's just what I'm doing lately. I don't know why. But it was funny. I was entertained. Uh, you know, there were lots of good, there were some good gags that were actually really funny. But uh, I think the story is Disenchantment's best element. I think if they focus on that more, I think the pacing of some of the story elements were bad. Like they kind of introduced these characters who were kind of implied to uh, spoilers. Send Lucy, and they introduce them like episode two or three, and they don't really show up till the, like the last or or beginning of season two. I can't remember, but uh, but the end of season one or end of season two, whatever. But you know that stuff is bad. Um, it's kind of weird that Elfo dies in this season. Like I didn't expect them to kill off a main character. People were saying there was a lot of fake out deaths. I only saw like two, but okay. Um, there is a lot of death in this show, actually. There's a lot of people that die. And a lot of them for the main characters. Whether on purpose or on accident. But then again, you could say the same thing about, um, like, Simpsons and Treehouse of Horror episodes. Or, uh, and even in Futurama, you can say that there are a lot of deaths that the main characters cause. So, you know, I don't know. Uh, it's entertaining. Check it out if you want. I would say... If you're not into the first episode, still watch the rest, though, because it is really bad episode when it comes to pacing. It It's the only episode an hour long. I think in season one and in season two, it went on so freaking long. And I was like, Bleh! why did you go on so freaking long? It's a good show. Just could have been paced a little bit better. I think the... I think the I think the voice acting is actually really great from like voice actors like John DiMaggio stuff like that. They're all really good voice actors. They're actually very good at what they're what they did uh, what they're doing. Uh, John DiMaggio is a great voice actor, but you know, he, if someone had told me it was John DiMaggio, I probably wouldn't have known because honestly, you know, he he is his most in character voice I've ever seen him in. Uh, you know, he's very good at Bender and Jake the Dog. But um, I think he's really good as King Gristle. And um, I think him and Lucy are the best characters and also the best voice acted characters all around. I think I think there's some great scenes with them. And I love how Lucy is like the most non-evil character in the show, even though she's like technically a demon. I think that is freaking hilarious. And that character is super funny. And I think that character is probably my favorite character. And she seems to be like the fan favorite character next to King Gristle. Um, and I, get, I don't know why. I'm really not a fan of Elfo. I think Elfo is so freaking irritating. And he's a selfish, awful person. I think Be- Bean and Elfo are just such bad characters in the show. Like they're so selfish and horrible. And Elfo actually, uh, actually causes uh, around a, a pretty decent amount of deaths, actually. I wish the show had gotten better, but it really didn't. Uh, within this season, at least. But season two is looking bright. I'm checking it out right now. I'm getting through it. I'm slogging through it, and then we'll talk about it. So, And then I want to watch uh, Futurama, and I'm going to watch Naruto and Cheers and get through all those shows and get them out. Videos for you, so... Yeah, really good, uh, really good time for me personally. I think if it seems appealing to you, you'll probably like it. If it doesn't, skip it. Um, but at least try the first two or three episodes. And if you don't like it, then you won't like it. 